ho, ho, Merry Christmas. Okay, yeah, I know it's November, but historically, the Roman census, which was what was going on when Jesus was born, was probably happening in the autumn or the springtime. So there's a good chance I might actually be closer to Jesus' birthday than, you know, Christmas time. So there you go. Anyway, what we're talking about today is a cool Christmas present that you might be able to uh, consider for your non-prepper friends. Now, this is something I don't think that you or I need because, like, you know, we can light our own fires, thank you very much. But uh, this, this thing is something you could give to people that you care about, you know, in your family, people that don't necessarily have your skill set that could go in their car or, you know, whatever, like, you know, sending the children off to school, you know, go in the dorm room. Uh, I don't know, it could be dangerous to put in a dorm. <laughs> anyway, it's a present that you could uh, give to somebody uh, that doesn't necessarily have prepper skills and they could, uh, you know, possibly be helped out by it. Uh, what these are, it's, it's called Spark and Start, and it is made not by a giant company, just by this dude, Todd. Uh, he came up with this idea and he contacted me. He's had a bunch of these made up and, uh, you know, he thought it was a cool idea. It's kind of his dream project. I, I told him I'd review them and share them with you guys. And this is honestly the first time that I'm using them. One of the selling points that he has on these is that they can light really easily, even with just a spark and with wind. And it's a pretty windy day today. So let's open them up. We'll try them out and uh, see if this is something that would be worthwhile giving to someone that you love and care about. I have River here with me today, someone that I love and care about, who is going to help me light them. We're going to try that out. He's actually never done a spark from a blade and flint before, so this will be a first for him on that. So what we have in here is uh, there's a, a 10 of these little wax lumps, and they have some cotton on the top here. And the idea is that you light the cotton, which is kind of impregnated or misted with some propellant, and, and then that starts burning the, uh, uh, the wax base. So uh, you start by just kind of fluffing all this up. Are you, re you ready to, to, uh, yeah. to light it up? Okay. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll light one first to see if like a pro can light it. And then we'll see if I can do it. We'll see if the boy can do it. All right, so I'm kind of just, I'm fluffing all this stuff up and kind of getting it all nice and airy. If you're familiar with making a tinder pile, you know you want to get a lot of air in there. So I'm using my knowledge of that to kind of fluff this thing up so it is like a wild afro here. There we go. Okay, cool. There we go. Uh, what I've got here to light it is a really cheap knife. You know, I know people have all these things about like the ultimate survival knife, but like, you know, this was like $3. <laughs> uh, it's not the best steel, but it's steel and it came with this cool sheath and a little uh, flint strike kind of thing. and. Obviously, it works pretty well. I'm just going to shoot some sparks right here. Now, you can pay attention to what I'm doing while I do it because you're going to try this after me, right? So uh, I'm going to take it and just shoot some sparks at it. And even with the wind we have here, it's supposed to light. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. It worked. I can feel the warmth off it already. It took me a couple tries, but uh, I think with the wind, that's why it happened. These are supposed to burn for like somewhere between like 10 and 12 minutes, somewhere in that uh, ballpark. And the idea is, is at this point, you'd already have like some little tinder, you know, you'd be putting, you know, some leaves on it and stuff like that. And, uh, and this will just kind of burn and it'll be the base for somebody starting a fire. That, well, I don't really want that leaf to catch on fire because it's windy out <laughs> and I could start a forest fire. So yeah, the idea is it's an easy way of starting a fire that'll burn for 12 minutes or so, you know, and, and having 10 minutes to light a fire is like, that's enough time, you know, for someone even that doesn't know really how, how to light a fire really well. This will allow them to get the tinder around it and, and get something going that really could sa save their life. So do you want to see if you can do it? Um, just once it stops burning. Well, this is going to go for about 10 minutes. So I think I'm going to put this one out. How do you put it out? Can it stop, drop, and roll? I don't know, I don't want to burn my fingers. I think I'm gonna take a leaf and try to smother it with a, a leaf. Okay, yeah, don't do that if you want to keep it burning. All right, so is that actually out? Yeah, it's pretty windy out. Okay, so River, you're gonna try one? All right, so that's the end of the video. It obviously worked. Uh, you know, stick around if you want to see how well a completely untrained boy could try this out. Do you want to try fluffing it up? All right, no. he's going to fluff one up and I'm going to fluff one up too. Like this? Yeah, well, just watch what I'm doing. You kind of take it and you're just pulling pieces no, up. No, like pulling pieces. Yeah, you make it really fluffy. You don't want to rip the pieces off. You want to keep them connected to it. There you go. 
but you just want to have it nice and light and airy. It's really good to try to share your skills with people. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, cool. So let's practice using this quickly. You hold this in one hand, this in the other hand, and what, sometimes people will take the knife and run the knife out. I sometimes just take this and pull this out. And you want to be putting pressure down with the knife like that. The reason I don't push the knife out is because oftentimes that will hit what you were trying to light. You know what I mean? But if I just hold this and then pull this out, then the sparks are mostly going to go there and I'm not going to knock my thing away. So why don't you give that a try? That in one hand, that in the other. Careful, it is a sharp knife. And you want a lot of pressure down on that. You want to go a little faster. This is more a test of whether or not he can do the flint, I suppose. Oop. Yeah, see, that time you did it with the knife and the knife tapped it away. See what I'm talking about? Yeah, what you, I think you need is more downward pressure. Remember we talked about leverage? Where if, oh, if you do it, oh, careful. If you do it here, as opposed to here, yet you're able to put more pressure down, okay? Oh, you had one there. Just keep going at it. Oh, good job. Oh, I thought that one was going to go. Let's try it again. Yeah. I think he's going I, I think if we wait, I think he's going to get it. And that's a pretty good testament that even a six-year-old who doesn't really have that, I mean, I know his dad's a prepper, but, you know, we're just starting to learn a lot of this fire and knife stuff. Um, you know, I think he has a pretty good chance of starting this. Now, as to whether or not he starts a forest fire after he begins with it, you know, I don't know if you want to be giving these to, like, the, you know, the toddlers in your family. Uh, not that River's a toddler, but you know what I mean. I, I, I mean, obviously, you want to be giving it to people that have some degree of... You know, safety, responsibility with fire. Oh, yeah, we're starting to move that knife a lot, which is why we're tapping it so many times. Oh, man, I can't believe that one didn't happen. You're getting better at the sparks. It's just not. Yeah. Okay. Can you try? Okay, I'll try. You try, see if it works. Oh, there we go. Okay. That this one took a little bit more than the last one. Let's try to try another one, see if that works. Okay, we'll try another one. Okay. Let's see, I want to put this one out. No, no, don't put it out. I, I just want to see this one. Go. Uh, okay. Let's just wait until uh, it burns out the stuff. That'll be easier for now. Well, I think I can put it out now. Oh, he, these are good leaves. Look at that. I'm going to smother it. There we go. Okay. Why don't we do this one and we'll I'll fluff it all up. Do you want to take your tools again? Yeah, I'm going to get it really fluffy for you, okay? All right, you want to practice? Get going. But not near my hands, though. Okay. Okay, there you go. Make it, make it, make it, gone fine and watch it burn. Okay. Right. And there we go. So this should burn for quite a while. Even with the wind, it's going to stay lit. And uh, yeah, these seem like they work out all right. So if you're thinking about something as a gift for someone for Christmas, uh, I would say that would, you know, be kind of a neat little thing to just kind of have in the back of your car if, if they break down or something like that. Oh, don't breathe that stuff in. It's petroleum. Not a bad thing. That's it. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas.
Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.